Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is spewing out water. Oh! Oh my god. Here you go again. Oh! The pet is finally here. I've been waiting for so long. Come check this out. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to go ahead and see it? Take a moment and look. I have to explain to you why this is so wicked. Look at this. Joey Slam. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I know. You're not liking your new home. Look at him, he looks grumpy. Look at his eyes real quick. He is just not having it. What's really cool though is you guys are able to see him now, which is pretty sweet. So Slayers, we're back at it with another safe venture. And guys, today is the day we go ahead and finally get something in this beautiful aquarium. That is right guys. I have been waiting patiently for this specific animal that's getting inhabited in this tank, guys. So, without further ado, there's gonna be a lot of things happening in this video, so be very attentive, because we're doing a little bit of Tyson and a little bit of this guy right here. So, to start off, we're going to go ahead and remove this little Chromis in here, who's hiding all the way up there. I don't know if you guys can see, but he's hiding right over there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, he just gets spooked. So, we're gonna actually grab some salt water right here with my trusty, Blender bottle, and we're uh, he's hiding. He's hiding. It's it might be a little tough, but we're gonna grab some water right now since you guys are here. Hold, and we're gonna transport him to the place where I ordered a very special critter. So, give me a few moments, guys, while I grab a net. Now he is able to be caught, my friend. Come on, my buddy. Come on, here you go. We're gonna put this guy right in here. There he is. Come check him out, he's inside my blender bottle. Now I'm gonna actually face this rock the way I want the rock to face, which is right just like that. Because the little critter that's gonna go in there is gonna be making something special out of that rock. So guys, give me a few moments. I'm gonna get all cleaned up because now I'm soaked, full of salt water. And I'm gonna clean up the counter and I'll meet you guys at a very special place. Slayers, we made it to the fish's paradise with our buddy here, Squishy. How you doing, Squishy? You doing good? Squishy? Squishy, wake up! Okay, Squishy's okay. This guy right here is going to be brought back to his home right now. I'm very excited about this place, believe it or not, because I have been waiting for a spit. We got a problem. Keys are inside. Right. Come check this out. Look at this. Huge tank. You guys have been here before and have seen it several times. This is the Fish's Paradise. And then we are here to pick up something very special. Not this guy. I mean, those are these guys are really cool. But something for my saltwater tank. All right, Slayer. So as you guys saw, we are at the Fish's Paradise. And again, I have Squishy right here, which I have to go ahead and give to my boy. Now, guys. The pet is finally here. I've been waiting for so long for this. Come check this out. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to go ahead and see it? Take a moment and look right there, guys. What you're looking at is a spearing mantis shrimp. Now, guys, I am not too familiar what species that one is. It could either be a squilla or a zebra mantis shrimp. Zebras usually have those stripes right on the back of their tail. But also squillas are very well known to be here because you can catch them in the eastern Atlantic Ocean. Now a good friend of mine, Blue Gabe, actually went shrimping and caught nine one night. And I believe, I believe he still has one as a pet. He kept, he actually ate eight, so you should check out that video where he tried out eight. But he also kept one in his tank, so that's pretty insane. And I have been wanting to get a spearing mantis shrimp for a very, very, very long time. I just, take a look at him. He's a lot bigger than what I asked. I asked for a medium, small medium, and he came large, extra large. Very in charge right there, guys. So that is the new inhabitant in that beautiful tank. So let me go ahead and find my boy. I'm gonna give Squishy to him. I'm gonna actually look for also a big old rock that I can go and get for Tyson because he's not really happy with that PVC pipe. Now, on top of that, we might be feeding this beautiful predator tank. Oh my gosh, he's spinning. This, oh, I don't want to put my finger in, he jumps out and I'm responsible. 
Look at that. Guys, we're looking at some awesome things right here. Trigger fish, panther grouper. Uh, we also have a dog face puffer right there. Oh my gosh, dude. It's absolutely wicked out here today. I am so stoked, guys. Start commenting below what I should go ahead and name a brand new spearing mantis shrimp. Whether he's squilla or zebra, it does not matter at all whatsoever. But just start dropping those comments so we can go ahead and get the ideal perfect name. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's wicked. That's so sick, dude. Whenever you're ready, just like let's scoop them out. Grandma the kills. Dude, they take care of me here at Fishy Paradise. So he is getting everything ready right now for a brand new pet. Oh, by the way, I have I have my buddy Squishy here. Squishy. Squishy, yeah. It's a bluefin gromus that I actually used to cycle my tank, so you can have them if you want. That, that'll be pretty sweet. Now, did you guys get any some live rock and stuff in? Right yeah, now? we did get live rock in. Okay, let's go ahead and check that out right now. <laughs> Squishy. Squishy. So if you guys check it out, we have a variety of live rock. Look at the selection. Now I'm looking for something where Tyson can still feel at home, but also is not too covered like that last rock. The last rock has such a deep cave that even though with my cell phone I was able to go ahead and get all the action, uh, I wasn't too thrilled about the content. I'm trying to produce some pretty prime content when it comes to feeding these types of animals. So I've been looking at this live rock. I've been thieving. Every time I look over, I've been looking at this rock. It looks pretty good. I can put him here. He'll be able to hide, do what he has to do. So this is this might be coming home. I'm not too sure, but he also has boxes and boxes and boxes of more live rocks. So I'm gonna look through that too. All right, Squishy, we love you. He's doing good. He's acclimating right now. He's gonna join the Fish Paradise family, guys. If you wanna go ahead and get Squishy, he's right here. Three ninety nine. Look at this. Look at. This. <laughs> he's just spewing out water. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, he's getting me wet. Just <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's insane. See what happens exactly. He's actually a lot bigger than I anticipated. He is really big. Not oh, much of a fight. That's for sure. Oh. Oh my gosh. He's chilling. He is vibing. We'll look at him more when we take him back to the house. That I think it's a zebra, bro. Because of all those stripes. The patterns. Yeah, because the squilla's white, but I'm not too sure. He's big, dude. Please. That thing's all 10 inches. Well, you know what I'll do? What I'll do is I'll go ahead and measure it. I have something that I can measure types of animals and fish at home. Once we put them in water and stuff, but look, check it out. He's massive. He is massive. Look at that. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Yeah, that's definitely one of that's the big nice ones. Size, yeah. That's awesome. Sweet. Dude, now, here comes the real fun part. We're gonna go ahead and feed everything. My boy can put these guys back. Yeah, if you don't mind, that'll be pretty sweet. Am I moving too fast for you guys? Wait. Was that one of my girls? It was. But anyways, guys, <laughs> let's go ahead and have some fun and feed the saltwater predator today. Guys, you, you guys have already been here several times on my channel. This is probably round number four. We've fed Tyson, we've bought things, we've done so many things here, and I love this place. So guys, check them out, Fish is Paradise, I'll link them below. They are doing a great job in regards to hooking me up with some of the craziest saltwater fish as well. I love supporting everybody around. I'm a team, I'm team everybody. So, especially you guys, I know you team slayers are team everybody as well. So there are a couple little things we can feed here. I'm gonna focus on the saltwater aspect again today. Check this out. They see the fish and they're trying to bite through the glass right now, which is absolutely wicked. Wow. Comment below what's the exact name of that trigger fish right there, because I always forget and that thing is gorgeous. So, here we go. I have some tongue. <laughs> I have some tongs. We're gonna grab one of these guys right here. Hold them. Very slippery. These are rosy reds. Oh, I got oh, I got good hands. Here you go. Check it out. Come on this side. Let's see what we can do. Can you see from up top or from the glass we got for you? We're gonna do both. Alright, we're gonna try on top right now. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, watch, it's tearing it apart, it's tearing it apart and spinning it out. Dude! Triggerfish is going ham. That's out of control. Now Slayers, have you ever seen Panther Grouper do this? Come up top like that? I'm gonna move this so you guys can see him better. He's following me all the way over here, which is wicked. I'm gonna grab one of these really quick. Got one right now. 
Here we go, down below. Boom. That happened a lot faster than we thought. Let's try it again. I'm not sure if you guys got that because I barely even saw it myself. Let's see if I can grab it. Hold. Give me a moment. Wait. Wait. Hold. All right, we got one right now. Check it out. Watch this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. And then lastly, I have one more. Let's see if I can get this puffer to eat. Wait, just kidding. It's not going to happen. Let's see if I get the puffer to eat. Come puffer. Come puffer. Come puffer. Come on. Come on. Nice. Hand fed that puffer, which is pretty dope. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, here you go, bro. Oh my god. Here you go again. Oh! Splash zone. Got a little wet. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Yo. What's your name, bro? John. John. You got Instagram? Now, there's a guy over here that you guys don't really see on this side, but he's over here. Come check him out. This is Savage. Savage the Green Moray Eel. And he's really, really, really cool. Now, these guys can really put a hurting on you in the wild. If you're spearfishing and stuff, or looking for some lobster, and you accidentally put your hand in a hole, they can really mess you up. Here, buddy. Here, come on. Come on, Savage. Come on, Savage. Look at him, he's playing with him now. Come on, work for that food. Look at those teeth. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at those teeth. Come over here. They're a little lost. These guys are kind of blind. They really rely on their senses. Oh yeah, look at this. Wicked. Such a killer. Oh, dude, again. He keeps crushing the entire body and leaving the head. Come on, here they are. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing it, he's chasing it. It's wicked. Oh, look at those teeth. They're so serrated. That's wicked, man. He's the coolest. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, those teeth. Here it comes. Here it comes to the top. Here it comes to the top. Here it comes to the top. Look at that. All the way to the top. Oh, he got a little spooked. Here, buddy. Come on. Come on. He's really gentle. Oh, never mind. Not gentle at all. He got him. That is wicked, guys. You can come over here, check out Fish's Paradise, get yourself some rosies to feed your predatory fish, as well as have some fun and feed these guys. So let's get everything ready. I'm gonna go pick up that live rock and some sand, and I'll meet you at the house. We are back at the sleigh pad, and come check it out. Guys, meet our brand new mantis shrimp. The spearing kind. Take a look at those eyes. Let's see if I can put my fingers here. Look, he is staring at my eyes. Hopefully he doesn't try to impale my fingers here, guys. Now, he is already acclimated. I went ahead and did a drip system. We've been at it for a long time. But check it out, guys. We have our first spearing mantis shrimp. That is ridiculous. It could be zebra, it could be squilla. I think it's a zebra based on the black striations on the tail here. Let's poke him, see what happens. Oh, that's a big boy. Look at that. Oh! Gotta be careful. He can actually reach me with those spears, guys. So, comment below what we should name him. I am torn between two names, guys. Spike or Blade. So again, guys, flood the comment section below and I will pick between one or two names, Spike or Blade. Nico, this is one of the craziest things I have ever seen because even though I already have a beautiful, strong, Peacock Mantis Shrimp named Tyson, who is wicked as well. If you look right there, look at his, look at his eyes. He is very, very different, very vibrant, very colorful. Whereas this guy, he's all about stealth since he's just such an opaque color and he's supposed to match with the sand. Now these guys, again, can be caught in the Mediterranean or the Eastern Atlantic Ocean. They're fished heavy in the Mediterranean for food. And I can understand why. Like, there looks like there's a lot of tail meat based on the size of these big guys right here. Now, their environment is basically a sandy, very muddy environment. So I have a good amount of sand right here. But I was very, I was already prepared, guys. Check it out over here. Don't look at all my stuff. There's a whole bunch of dirt. I'm still moving, guys. I have crushed coral that I can add to the aquarium right here. I also have another bag ugh, of live sand. So I'm gonna be working on that and this at the same time. We also got a beautiful piece from Fish's Paradise that we can add for Tyson here. 
and it's gonna be absolutely perfect. So we'll be working on that. That's gonna actually murk up the tank a little bit. But while we have this guy out here, and I've been talking for a long time, I kinda wanna take an official measurement of this mantis shrimp because this guy, even though is very strong, I don't have to worry about the clubs hitting my fingers. Right, guys, so we're gonna lay this measuring tape out and see how long our mantis shrimp is. We're gonna scoop up this mantis shrimp right now. Come here, buddy. This is gnarly, gnarly mantis shrimp. Look, look right there. Do you see that? Take a moment, look, look at his mouth. You see his mouth? Hold on, buddy. Look at that mouth. Look at his mouth. Straight, what a predator that guy is. You can see his mouth, the crushers. I wanna see if I can touch the spine so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I have to explain to you why this is so wicked. Look at this right here. You see that? These are huge spears and this will impale his food, which consists of a fish and a crustacean die like shrimp. This is wicked. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and measure him right now. We have nine inches. Right now, nine inches. That is freaking wicked. All right, we gotta go. We have to hurry up and get him inside of his tank. Got him? And his tank, look at him. He is so insane. What a guy. Oh, spearing mantis shrimp, guys. All right, cool. So let me turn on the light so you guys are prepared to see him as he goes inside. Let me remove this lid. Dude, here we go. All right, guys, as you can see, the new mantis shrimp has been added to the aquarium. Check that out. Let me get a little rack. Just take a look at this giant. Here you go, buddy. We'll clean you up real quick. That's that's some crazy stuff right there, guys. I can't get over that. Can you, Nico, bro? Uh, that's, this is absolutely those insane. Those bifocal eyes. Dude, trifocal, bro. Trifocal? Trifocal. One of the coolest crustaceans in the animal kingdom, that's for sure. Well, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Again, comment below, Spiker Blade. Booyah.